Hey, it's Tony in Emerald Isle, North Carolina. Your good data can be worth $50,000. My client, Baruch College, had an inactive alumnus. Back in 2007, they were trying to convert as many inactives to actives as possible. So they spent the time to research and found this man's current address. And we started mailing to him. He became an active and consistent donor. He started at $100 a year and increased to $200 a year. And late last year, 2015, he died and left the college a $50,000 outright bequest in his will. I think that's a great lesson there. You just never know among the people that you have listed as inactive who will become a regular donor. I mean, that in itself was very good. He became a consistent donor for eight years. Well worth the time to find his, his address. And then, obviously, paid off even much larger when, uh, when we got notice of a $50,000 gift in his will to the college. So, you know, you might not be able to do all your inactives at one time, but bite off what you can chew, do many a month. However you, however you have to break it down, it can be very worthwhile to convert your inactives to actives. You just never know who's going to become a consistent donor and then ultimately maybe even a planned gift donor. Keep in mind too, you know, the best planned giving donors are those regular and consistent annual donors. They're loving you. They're giving to you year after year very consistently. And it doesn't have to be at the $100 or $200 a year level. 10 or $15 a year, and they are a very good planned gift prospect if they're about 65, 60 to 65 and over. So think about it. Try to take the time. Convert your inactives to actives. You just never know who is going to be that $50,000 donor for you. Take care.